Hi, I'm Annie Harlow with Mark Mulcahy, introducing you to the Take 5 Retail Training Series, sponsored by Vermont Farm to Plate. We created retail training tips to be helpful no matter the size or location of your store. You can watch Take 5 episodes in sequence or as standalone episodes based on the topics you're most interested in learning about. Let's get going. In episode four, we introduced you to the bell curve, where you learn that every product you bring in has at least 10 questions attached to it. Think of the curve as a journey for each product, with five questions related to buying making up the first half, and five questions of merchandising making up the second. It is all about choosing which products to carry and their life cycle in your store. We are going to show you how they are connected through the questions you should ask. If you understand the bell curve concept, you will be able to make the best decisions for all your products. In this episode, we'll focus on the five questions pertaining to merchandising. The first question of merchandising is, have sales dropped? Followed by four relating to pricing, display, and overall sales performance. Learning to ask questions about each and every product will affect margin, revenue, and ultimately customer service. Let's look at the questions as it pertain to each product. Have sales dropped? Should the price be changed? Should you change the display? Should you find a new supplier? Perhaps discontinue the product. Sales drop. That's a fact. Your job is to keep sales moving. When the sales begin to drop, Ask the question, why has it slowed down? The answer relates to the life cycle of the product and can be complicated. The display may have lost its impact due to neglect or just becoming tired. Product is no longer in season or competition exists within the category. You may have pricing that is no longer competitive and all of these can cause reduction in sales. The next question on the bell curve is should the price be changed? Would changing prices make a difference? It might, but keep in mind that quality, displays, and pricing are all connected. They cannot be thought in isolation when it comes to merchandising. You may find the pricing is fine, but that changing the display has a positive impact on increasing sales. Should the display be changed to maximize sales? There are several things to consider. Have you scaled displays to anticipated sales, placed with top sellers, increased exposure with complementary sale items such as holiday themed cooking displays, matched product with price and value, stocked enough product on the shelf to keep displays attractive. If product price, quality, or consistency are not met by your supplier, take time to research which distributors or local food producers from within your community will best match your needs. We've reached the bottom of the bell curve. Should you discontinue products to make room for new ones? If you've asked all the questions and product is not selling, drop it. This gives you opportunities to bring in new products with higher sales potential and using the bell curve of buying will be a great guide. Here are two good examples of stores that discontinued product to make room for new ones. In the picture on the left, they made a big push to sell cases of stone fruit and bulk summer produce. And on the right, the front entrance was retooled for a summer highlight of S'mores Tonight. This product mix excites customers, encourages sales and product turns while replacing slow sellers. A display at the front entrance is a great way to promote in-season and targeted sales. Audits tie to the questions in the bell curve. Here are the merchandising tips. Don't wait for old product to sell before you stock new product. Cross merchandise and increase opportunities for impulse sales. Make sure the display is dynamic and increases sales. Click on the resources tab to the left to see our audit. Farm to Plate supports merchandising assistance to independent retailers in Vermont to support sales. To recap, staying on top of product movement is important to your profitability. Not all products are at the same place on the bell curve. 
In order to best use the bell curve tool, remember that buying, displaying, and selling has to be looked at not in isolation, but as connected, and each product has a unique life cycle. Our in-store audit resource tool will help you to identify areas of strength and offers up new ways to assess overall merchandising. Keep the bell curve of buying and merchandising in mind as you watch upcoming episodes of the Take 5 series. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Retail Training. In a moment, you will be redirected to the next in the series. Or you can choose from the complete list by clicking the Farm to Plate logo in the upper left-hand corner. Print out the information sheets under the Resources tab to the left. Use these for staff training and as a checklist for improving your buying and merchandising.